Ja. You've been what? I'm in, I'm in. Okay. I've been having a problem inside me for four years. I've, I, I, I made an, I made an oath, I made an oath to Allah to stop, to, to stop a sin. But then, uh, for, for, for a year. But then, in the middle of that, I, 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 I went, I went to the sin. But then, I, I didn't know there was a kafara to pay. So, I continued with the sin, and then I started facing depression. And then there were side effects to of me continuing the thing. I didn't know that, that was uh, the sin causing that. So I came to know that it was like a father. So I fasted for three days. But then uh, my, my situation didn't change. Because I, I think that was a punishment from Allah. But I, I, I don't know what to what to do to change my situation. Because, because I've tried for four years to, to change my situation. But I, but I know it's, it's that breaking of the oath that, that got me into this situation. But I don't know how to fix it. Are we talking about pornography or masturbation? And, the first one, sir. Okay. Okay. First of all, Akhi, when you break an oath, there is an expiation that you have to give. And this is mentioned in the Quran, which is one of the three you choose. Free a slave or feed or clothe 10 poor people. Three choices. Either one you choose is okay. Freeing a slave is not applicable nowadays because you don't have slaves. The other two are fine. If you are unable financially to either feed or clothe 10 poor Muslims, in this case, you may resort to fasting three days. Jumping to three days before, when you're able to feed or clothe 10 Muslim uh, uh, poor ones, is not accepted. So the three days you fasted, these are voluntary days, would not count as an expiation for your broken oath. Secondly, those who are doomed and tested with either watching pornography, or masturbation, masturbation, or the likes of such heinous sins, these are their tests from Allah. And we are on this earth only to be tested. There isn't a soul on earth who's not tested. Even the richest of the richest is being tested. And the poorest of the poor is being tested. Now some may pass the test and end up in paradise some may fail and end up in hell it is you who decide there is no magical pill that would help you no one can justify his sin by saying i can't do anything about it if we tell you go to the highest building to a high riser and jump. You said, you crazy? Why would I? I would say, don't you feel compelled to jump? Don't you feel that you want to just jump and say, I believe I can fly? Said, of course not. You're crazy. I don't want to die. Said, Very good. So why are you doing this sin? Oh, Sheikh, I can't help myself. No, you can. You did not jump. You can also stop watching. Now, how to do this? This depends on the measures you take. You want to pass the exams and get higher grades? What are you going to do? I'm going to study hard, Sheikh. I'm going to isolate myself from my hobbies and my habits and my family to study really hard. And in the end, I would get the trophy, a high glamorous uh, uh, grades. Likewise, when you want to stop the sin that you are indulged in. You have to first of all do the preparation needed such as blocking all means. So where do you watch this filth? Oh on my smartphone, on my PDA, on my computer. Eliminate. What do you mean? Your smartphone that's making you stupid 
substituted with a normal Nokia, the Symbian uh, 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 operating system that has no internet, that has no videos that you can play, only to text and to uh, uh, take and, 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 and make calls. The PDA and the laptop or uh, uh, the computer in the house eliminate all of this. And if you live with your family, buy a big screen with a PC where your back is not to the wall and the screen is to you, rather it's the opposite. The back of the screen is to the wall and your back is to the family, to the living room, so that everyone in the room can see. Anyone passing by can see what you're watching. And you can have restriction not to watch it unless there is someone in the room, not to have access to such porn. Yeah, imagine if your young sister or uh, brother were to fall into these sites and watch them because of you. Imagine if your children do this. Imagine if Allah punishes you by cascading this to your own family. And what? And, and the, 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 the sad thing is, if I were in the same room with you, would you dare watch it? No, Sheikh, you're intimidating. I'm scared from you. I would never, never attempt to do this. Akhi, Allah is watching you 24 hours, seven days a week. Allah is listening to everything you're listening to. You don't have any shame. You don't have any fear. After all what Allah has given you. So you have to do this as stage one. And then you have to fill your time with beneficial things. How many juz of the Quran do you memorize? How many hadiths do you know? What's your knowledge in Islam? You have to start filling your time with beneficial things. Thirdly, you have to surround yourself with practicing uh, righteous Muslims 24 hours, seven days a week. If you check your contact list, you will find that maybe you have a handful of them, but you don't hang out with them. You prefer sitting home alone watching this filth. Or you have a lot of non-Muslims or non-practicing people who keep on putting fuel to the fire and share with you some of this haram filth. So whenever there's a will, there is always a way. But again, nobody's going to give you a magical pill. It's all in your hands. You make oath, you make promises, you do this, you do that. Nothing is going to help you unless you put it in your mind and ask Allah for guidance and really take serious and, uh, uh, steps and measures to stop this filth and Allah knows best.